Here's a director's view monitor, portable director's view monitor that I built out of a bunch of different products that I'll list all below in the description section of this video. But here's the full rig already built out. I just got back from a shoot where I use this or several shoots where I use this exact rig for the director slash producer. And I also used it myself when, uh, when the director producer wasn't using it. Uh, this is the whole setup. I already did a previous video on the camera system that I used that was connected to this, but this is just gonna focus on this rig. And maybe you could, if you want something like this, this was, I think the highest, the, cheap, the cheapest, highest quality of a rig like this that I, that I could put together that I found when I was doing research. The frame itself that's holding everything, I thought I was gonna have a lot of options when I was trying to find just the, the framing, like the rig uh, of a director's view monitor. And I noticed upon the research that I was doing or just trying to buy one, that they're very expensive. They were averaging $500 or more for this rig and it's, to me, I thought it was like a camera cage. A camera cage should cost a hundred bucks. It shouldn't cost this much for this. So this is a, a Nitsi. I forgot the model number, but again, I'll put the link below. Nitsi has this with different accessories. The only accessories that I purchased this with are these handles and that's it. There are other couple other components here that it comes with, but Nitsi has some other uh, setups that you can purchase that are more expensive. This was the cheapest one. I believe it was under 200 or under $250 for the frame and the handles. It's a wireless system. So I have a wireless here. This is the Hollyland 400 S. The monitor and the wireless is powered by this one V-mount battery. These are one of the smaller V-mount batteries. I had other options. There was another, uh, I have a, you know, a few V-mount batteries because a lot of companies are making them these days. This small one right here is the Nano 2 from FX Lion. I could have used this one, except this one only has one D-tap out. The, this one by Momin has two D-taps. And a battery like this could power the seven inch monitor and the wireless system. I think it could power it all day. The shoots that were on were under three hours. So I had this on three hours and I looked at the battery indicator, which is on the side here, and the battery indicator didn't even go down that much. So let me unplug the battery system first, and then I'll, I'll flip it over. So two D-taps. One D-tap is going to the wireless, one, another D-tap is going through to the monitor here. The D-tap cables did not come with the battery, it did not come with anything. The D-tap cables are their own purchase. So let me unplug both of them. And since, to have less of the cabling mess, I have a bongo tie, which is kind of a expensive rubber band, and I just tied them all together. So when I unplug it, so there's two D-taps. So there's one D-tap to NPF, and one D-tap to whatever uh, connection, DC connection that this Hollyland has. I, I purchased that one on Hollyland's site, I believe. I think Hollyland even sells it. So let me unplug both of them here. Have you guys seen these bongo ties? You get them in a little package. They're, they're, they're useful. So here's the two cables I have. This cable here is more useful for other, other accessories. It doesn't just work with, cable, with the, the monitors. You could use this for lights. You could use this for the wireless system. I could have used this for the wireless as well. But it's like this. This one works pretty well. It's, uh, I don't know what the brand is, but there's that one. And then the cable itself. I'm pretty sure I bought this directly from Hollyland. So there's their uh, DC connection that you can also have, I think it comes with an AC. And this is their same thing, powers it, works fine. It seems to regulate, convert whatever the D-tap is into their wireless system fine. Battery, let me just remove it here. Moment battery. I was skeptical about this brand. Here's a battery indicator. But it seemed to be, oh wow, look, it's still charged after a couple shoots. Seems to work fine. Two D-tap outs. There's the regular V-mount. And then up top here, I think it's a USB. Yeah, you have two USB, and I think those are both outs. 
So if you have a five volt, if you need to charge your phone, then you can do that through there. Here, this whole cage system, it came with, I think this part came with the Nitsi, except for this small rig. This is a small rig, a small V-mount connection that I purchased and I just screwed it onto this a plate here. On this side, I have a HDMI out of the wireless system, just a cable like this. And then I have this attached with a quick release. This is a, on the bottom here, this is just a, a Ulanzi quick release that I have attached there. And then I could take this part on and off because this is the, one of the more expensive components of this whole cage. And when I'm transporting it, which I had transported this in a, in a um, plastic container that you would buy at Target or Walmart. So I didn't want this to be banging around in the cage or in the box. So I undid this really fast and then I could just snap it back on as you could see. So this monitor, I have, it's a desk view monitor. It's not really expensive. It's maybe over $200. I don't think they sell this one anymore. There's other models that I'll, I'll link below, but I have this connected with a quick release plate by Vlogger, the Vlogger quick release plate, which I reviewed in another video. And the Vlogger quick release plate that mounts to the camera has, has an anti-twist, which was big. Cause you don't want the monitor twisting back and forth. Whoops. You don't want the monitor twisting back and forth in the cage. So I have that connected and that's how that connects to the cage. This is a Suri S125 with a, a Arca Swiss head. And this is what I used to just prop up the monitor whenever it wasn't being held. So here's what the cage looks like with all, all the components inside, with all the wires inside. The, the frame and the handles, and I think these plates here, this one and then this one, is what came with the Nitsi, the Nitsi package for, for like 200, under $200. And then the other components I have here is that up top here, I have a small rig handle. This is one of their small handles. And up here is another a mounting point that I, also comes with the Nitsi cage and it's a cold shoe, and that's how I'm holding it like this. These handles are, are connected with a, a rod, rod system. And I'll show you how these handles work here. So you undo the rod, and then you could slide these, both of these rods up and down this other 15 millimeter rod. And this 15 millimeter rod and this 15 millimeter rod are what's connecting the top to the bottom. So you can adjust these and these also have rose, rosette or whatever you call this system that has locking teeth and you can move these any any way you want. Any direction you want. So I just had this mounted like this and this I found this to be the best most comfortable and once you tighten all of these knobs you can hold this whole rig with one hand like this. It's heavy it, it's, it's, you might want to have two hands on it, but you can have one hand. And then on the very bottom, I put this, uh, this is the Kessler, um, I forgot what they call this plate, but I used to have this on my camera, but because I wanted to set this down, I wanted the ability to set this on tables. If somebody's going handheld like this, I wanted a bigger footprint. And that's exactly what this Kessler base plate here does. It has, it, first it's, it's Arca Swiss compatible here but it has two feet that are rubberized. And once you set this down, this whole rig won't tip over on a table. It adds some weight to it though. And here it's just a thin bar, thin frame, but it's perfect to put in two quarter twenties to really make sure it doesn't twist. And here are some other close-ups to it. Here, here's the Ulanzi quick release that I have here for the monitor, or for the uh, wireless system, the wireless receiver there, so I can snap them in and out. And here in the middle is where I have the vlogger release plate, so I can slide in and out that monitor. Uh, Ulanzi, the specs for this, the dimensions the here, this could fit uh, anywhere from, you know, a small monitor, obviously. You put a small monitor in there. The monitor I had in before was seven inches, 
and it says it could take up to a nine inch monitor. If you have anything bigger than a nine inch, it won't fit. Up here, if you have a, a bigger monitor, up here is supposed to be another place where you could mount, secure the monitor on the top and the bottom so it doesn't slide. That's why they, they built up here. I mean, if you're looking for something like this and you want quality, you don't just want a whole plastic thing that's not gonna last very long because you can obviously just get some PVC pipes and just build your own for really cheap. But this has a professional look to it. There's also areas, or not really an area, but this has so many ways you can just mount straps. So if you ever look on a big Hollywood film, you'll see the directors have something like this, but it's strapped to their body. It has these two straps that they just wear around their neck. You could just get that. You could just buy any kind of straps and just strap it to the, the corners here. And then now you have something that the director can just strap onto themselves to, to their neck. And uh, I, I wish I had a lens hood solution. I don't have a, or a LCD hood. So I was in bright sunlight and the monitor I had was I think 2000 nits or 2,500 nits, so it was bright enough, but it would be nice to be able to attach some kind of hood system if I am in bright sunlight, because I don't want this to get all the glare. That's my review. I'm very happy with this setup. I'm, I recommend this. I, I'm very happy with it. It works for me.